racing popsicle sticks. This is what life's all about right here. So we got these 95 grain Magtex. Then we've got some of these Critical Defense. And, oh shoot, oh well, I'll clean that up later. We got some American Eagle. And these guys are 95 grain. We got the 90 grain Corbon. Until I shot these, I didn't know anything about it. And I really didn't believe that 10, 50 feet per second. There's some truth in advertising. So here's something that I find interesting. See that nozzle velocity, 1,000 feet per second, balderdash. They know when people are buying this stuff, they're buying it for a little pocket pistol. 10.95 for hollow points, 90 grain hollow points. Can you believe it? What we did is we tested that out in the Colt Mustang pocket light right there. And I've often wondered why they don't call it a Colt Camaro pocket light. I don't know, I think that's a, a cry and shame. But, but what we really want to see right now is how does this ammunition and this firearm really stack up to the Redneck Ballistics testing. The finest testing known to man. You shoot this Fiocchi into that three inch copper line right there. And then I'm gonna shoot two or three more times just to see where the chronograph's coming in. Nine twelve, nine thirteen, eight eighty-one. Okay, we did not have penetration, so I guess the rumors are true that the copper will stop at three eighty right there. Look at that. Oh, cool. Check it out. Just a few feet away, about three feet away, we have our little Fiocchi bullet right there. So I guess that's no longer a myth. It's been confirmed that the three inch copper line will stop a 380. And then here, I was just aiming kind of center of that jug. I got one bullet right where I was aiming and then the other two right nearby. So that target I was shooting at was around 12, 15 meters away. So accuracy wise for the Fiocchi, I feel pretty confident. Now I'm just gonna shoot two of the Corbon. Those have been coming in at over 1,000 feet per second. 1,029. 1,029. All right, there we have our Corbon right there, or a piece of it. All right, now that one I hit high on, about two inches from where I was aiming. So that one I barely hit right there, but I hit a hit, right? And I didn't even hit the jug. Shoot. 862. 854. 84 48 oh hey that's that's pretty warm i'm gonna guess that's the ftx right there just below where i was aiming on that hit everything in this target so so i feel pretty good with accuracy on both of those so now i might just shoot this side right here i'm going to test out three of the corbon and just see where we're coming in with those. So what I'm seeing, I'm getting a little bit more speed, but I'm not getting quite the accuracy. Now, once again, it's a belly gun, right? So who really cares? Well, everybody cares. The Corbon is moving fast enough that it does tend to disintegrate when it's hitting rocks. I guess that's a good thing, right? Now let's test accuracy on our Magtech with the Colt. Aw, crap. We busted the myth. Now, that's hitting right where I'm aiming, so that's pretty good. 
or maybe it's just like a half inch to the left. That's good enough for me. And we actually have the bullet and the jacket right there. And looks like a little, and we got a little copper. That is beautiful. Now on this one, I was aiming at the, the second Owen Woolite. Now for the American Eagle. So got a little bit of jacket right here. Oh, then this one uh, did not penetrate. It's going a little slower than that Magtech, but got right there. I was aiming there, so it looks like I was shooting a little bit low. Oh, there she is. She is still hot. Woo, burning up. And that stupid jug was just kind of bouncing all around, so I don't don't really know. So it looks like I might have been shooting high. So that's probably the first shot. That's probably why it tipped it over. Who knows what happened after that? So I'd have to say in that firearm, I probably prefer the Magtech over the American Eagle. So what I've done is I've loaded these 90 grain Fiocchi into here. I've got seven of them. I want to see where the velocities are coming in between this one and the other pistol. And then I'll test a little bit of accuracy on this. And please remember, these are pocket pistols. They're belly guns. These are not made for high accuracy. 942, 944. I got a little excited, forgot to start reading off the chronograph readings. So I, I think we're in the comparable zone between the two, which doesn't surprise me. I don't think one gun is really gonna make a huge difference over the other. And from bolt to bolt, they're gonna change. So there is the core. There is the dent. I kind of tried a few different techniques. That gun, I would just say, is easier to shoot, but way more uncomfortable. All right, so I'm getting 1171 out of my Ruger. I was able to hit that clay pigeon, so I feel pretty good. I would say that Ruger is more accurate. I think that the Colt is accurate enough. Well, the cows came home, so I guess it's time to go.